Hi everyone. Today I'll be going over how to do matrices in MathCAD. So I'm going to make this matrix here. Um, and you can use these brackets on simply on your keyboard or you can go up to matrices, the um, matrix tab and insert a matrix um, if you know the exact if you know the exact size. But usually I find it easier just to do it this way. So I can just input it one, and then um, to increase the amount of columns, you can press uh, Shift Space. So let's put some numbers in here, and then if you want to increase the amount of rows, you do Shift Enter. And three, and then I'm navigating to the other points or uh, spots with the arrow keys. Okay, then I'll set up the B matrix. Uh, I can shift, uh, shift space, and then shift enter, and then arrow key. I'll make another one. So today I'll be showing you how to do uh, matrix addition, so multiplication, how to take the inverse, transpose, and determine it. Alright, so let's do some matrix addition first. So it's pretty much just like algebra. So A plus C is equal to that. It's pretty simple. And then same thing with uh, matrix multiplication. Um, but you can see here that we can't multiply any of these together, right? Because say if we want to multiply A by B, the number of uh, columns of A do not equal to the rows of B. There is, there's a nice little uh, function here. Um, if you do this, you can see how many columns are in A. Uh, th this helps when you have much larger matrices and you're too lazy to count it all. Rows of B. It gives you that, and so you can see that they're not equal, so we can't multiply. But if we take the transpose of A, then they will equal to each other. So let's go ahead and do that now. <clears throat> so a um, transpose. So uh, sometimes you'll you'll see it like this, right? So a to the t, and you just want to type it in, but it, if you just say equals it, it won't work. Um, so you you have to actually use the use the function. So if you go up here to operators, there's the matrix transpose, and you can press that. Uh, Usually I go by the shortcut, which is uh, Control Shift T equals two, and uh, yeah, and that and that gets people because it, it looks just like doing, you know, A to the T, and then people get confused as why it's not working. Uh, you definitely need to use the operator. All right. So now that we have that, we can multiply by B. So A transpose times B is equal to. And then I want a square matrix so I can show you some of the other things for matrices. So I'm going to multiply A by B by C, or the transpose of A by B by C. So I'm going to call this a, a D matrix. Oops. A and then transpose, so control shift T times B times C. And there we go. Okay, um, so we can take the inverse of D. So D. So this one, you can actually just say to the 
to the negative 1. So it's kind of inconsistent with the transpose, but there you have it. Uh, and then we can take the determinant of d, so uh, det of t. And that's it. So we can use these, like the inverse and some of our multiplication to solve a set of linear equations. Um, I know MathCat has the solve block, uh, you know, given and find, but we can use uh, we can use matrices to solve our linear equation. So I'm going to redefine A here. Um, so A is going to equal to. Let's do this again. So three, control enter. Five, control enter. Eight, control. Oops. It's supposed to be control. Uh, space and then this is control enter 9 um, 3 and a 1 trying to pick numbers that'll work out in the end 4 2 and a 1 and then B is going to equal to 12, shift enter, 42, shift enter, always gotta have 42 in there. Okay. So I think we all know um, that that equation A times X is equal to B, right? Or sometimes they have X bar right here. Um, and these x bars is what we're trying to solve. So let's try to do that. So x bar is going to equal to, and we, we want to move this a onto the other side, right? Uh, we can't exactly do matrix division, but we can do um, the inverse of a times b. So a to the minus one times oops times b and there you go so if the variables here were x y and z this guy would be your x this would be y and that would be z all right and that's it